Hey guys, I think that the Fed is going to cut rates today. And so I want to talk about what I think the market is going to do. So whether or not you're watching this video before they make the announcement or whether you're watching it maybe days later, this is going to be great content because it's going to give you kind of an outline, an outline of what has happened in the past and a projection for what's going to happen over the next few months. All right, guys. So economists have predicted that the Fed will launch its first interest rate cut in four years during this week's meeting. All right, now just a little bit of background. The Fed raised rates 11 times, guys, since 2022 to combat inflation, bringing the benchmark rate to 5.5%, the highest it's been in over 20 years. And the impact of inflation has been huge. These rates, these rate hikes have successfully reduced inflation, which now stands at 2.5%, nearing the Fed's 2% target. This is a level that's consistent with price stability and maximum employment. All right, but here's what we're expecting. There's a lot of speculation of a 25, even a 50 basis point cut happening today and markets are anticipating the impact. Now let's look at the two situations when we have high rates and when we have low rates, just to give you that kind of economical perspective of, and then we can look at what to expect over the next few months. So when we have high interest rates, then those higher rates are going to increase borrowing costs for companies and individuals, directly impacting corporate earnings and reducing investor appetite for certain stocks. And that's not the only thing. It's going to have a big impact on high growth companies, specifically growth-oriented businesses, particularly in the technology sector. Those are the stocks that I'm most interested in, right, on this channel. That um, Those companies rely on loans, and they're going to face higher costs, leading investors to question their stability and ability to sustain growth. As borrowing becomes more expensive, consumers also have less discretionary income, affecting businesses reliant on consumer spending, for example, entertainment, travel, sectors like that. So investors may favor bonds and other investments that perform better in high rate environments, reducing overall stock market activity during times of high rates. Okay, but now there's the potential that they're going to finally start cutting rates starting today. Well, let's look at what the impact will be and what has been. So lower rates, guys, they make borrowing cheaper and easier for both businesses and individuals, providing a boost to corporate earnings. Lower borrowing costs leave consumers with more discretionary income to spend benefiting businesses in consumer-driven sectors. And these factors typically encourage investor confidence, leading to more investments in the stock market, particularly in growth companies. All right, so cutting interest rates is good for investors. All right, what is the historic, look at the historical performance, guys, of what the S&P 500 has done every time they've done a rate cut. Look at the recent rate cuts and the five, S&P 500 growth. After the Fed cut rates in March 3rd, 2020, and August 1st, 20, 2019. All right, we have 2019, 2020. The S&P rose 10% after they cut rates in 2019, and 27% after they cut rates in 2020, over the following 12 month period. So uh, huge boosts after the most recent rate cuts. Now, a lot of people point to the Great Recession and they're like, well, what happened there? The rate cuts during the 20, 2007, 2008 financial crisis, particularly in September, 2007, saw a delayed recovery, but that's because it was so severe. The economic downturn was so intense that all the rate cuts did was blunt the, the the fallout, guys. So the Great Recession is by far an outlier. I wouldn't use it to predict the future because it's not usually what happens, all right? It's a lot less useful for as a comparison for today's market. So we're gonna throw that outlier out, look at what usually happens to make our, um, our recommendation, our, our implication, what's gonna happen next over the next few months. All right, so historical trends. 
they're going to show they show positive stock market reactions following rate cuts. So the prediction is that future market behavior remains a little bit challenging. All right, here's the reason why. A single rate cut will not immediately ease borrowing conditions. A series of cuts is what is necessary to create that significant lasting effect on the economy and the stock market. But I have a positive outlook. I think a rate cut this week could begin a favorable trend, potentially leading to the S&P 500 following recent historic patterns of growth over the next year. All right, so I think because of what they're doing today, hopefully, um, we're gonna see a we're gonna see a good year ahead. I think the next 12 months are going to be very positive for the economy. I know we got the election and everything coming up uh, in November. That's going to be a wild card. That we don't know what's going to happen yet, but I think just based on that, this is a really good golden signal. This telling us, hey, the next 12 months they're going to be good. But you got to remember, the single rate cut's not going to do it. You're not going to wake up tomorrow after they do the rate cut and all of a sudden you're a millionaire, right? Or if you were a millionaire, now you're a 10 millionaire. You know, it's not going to work like that. But over the next 12 months, we will see the the fruit of the seeds that are being planted today. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. That's my prediction for what's going to happen. And uh, leave a like if you enjoy the video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, guys. Because I'm posting a video like this every single day. And I post a video every single week telling you what stock I'm buying because I buy into the stock market every week, put a little bit of money in. And uh, that's just, that's what I do, guys. Every week, we don't miss a week. Doesn't matter if the stock market's up, down, wherever it's at, we're putting money in. Anyway, guys. All right, y'all have a good one and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.